Looks like BioWare might be bringing back their well-known franchise. There are some sad news regarding new Silent Hill games, more info on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remaster and much more. Welcome everybody, my name is Kevin Manners and this is Top Gaming News. Let's just jump right into it with the first news coming from Epic Games. Epic Now is a multi-platform publisher where they have announced a new Epic Games publishing label where they will be doing things a little bit differently. Now under this publishing label, they plan on releasing new games by the developers who made Last Guardian, Control and Limbo. Now Remedy Games have already worked with Epic since they have released Control which will be an Epic Store exclusive until August of this year and probably will be moving to Steam but for one full year, Control was an exclusive to Epic Store games. So looks like Remedy is still gonna be with Epic Store at the moment. Now this publishing label from Epic is different and very interesting because they are letting the developers do whatever they want because they are covering up 100% of developer cost for whatever games they are going to make. Which is very tempting for all developers who want to go with Epic Games. Now if Epic is able to do this, this would be a big thing because more and more developers might be able to come to Epic and I think this would be a really smart move by Epic at this point. Now Epic also says that developers don't have to give the ownership of the game or they will have any creative control over them. As well as Epic Games promises to give 50% of profit to developers. Now all of this comes very amazing, 50% of profit being given to them, the ownership of the game is still with the developer, there will be no creative control coming from Epic side, everything will be done by the developer, it's just pretty amazing and that is what every developer wants to do at this moment. Also Epic is making a lot of profits from the free games and the exclusive games that they have been working on and more people will be able to come and download this software to play the games that they want to play. As I said Remedy Games is still working with Epic Games and they have two more new games coming up. One is going to be a AAA title that they have already started working on and another will be a game which will be in the same universe but smaller in size. Now talking about free games, Epic is still working on more free games. For example, their own exclusive game World War Z is out for free right now. So you can get this game before April 2nd and if you get the game, you will get to keep it forever. And there will be more games coming up, for example Gone Home which is another great adventure game which will be coming out from April 2nd to April 9th. So if you get the game between those dates, you will get to keep that game forever. Now of course Epic Games started this free game trend and it's working out pretty well. A lot of people are downloading Epic Launcher to download these games and play them for themselves. And one of the biggest games would be World War Z at this moment which is a really cool Left 4 Dead type game that you guys should actually play. It is really fun to be honest. Now moving on to BioWare, it seems like they're working on a very well-known franchise as they're hiring for it based on a job ad. The Edmonton branch of the company is looking for a technical director with AAA multiplayer game experience on PC or console so that they can work on a new game. Now this job ad doesn't say what game they will be working on exactly but it could be very much possible that that game is Mass Effect. Now reports have come across that Edmonton Studio is working on a long running series under the leadership of long time producer of Bioware, Mike Gamble who has worked on Mass Effect 2, 3 and Andromeda. Mass Effect is one of the biggest franchises from Bioware but with Andromeda a lot of people lost trust in Bioware itself because of a lot of issues that the game came across. Now maybe with this multiplayer title they might bring those fans back but only time will tell whether anybody will be interested in coming to multiplayer of Mass Effect. Now they could be also working on another game other than Mass Effect and that is called Dragon Age because the Bioware general manager has told that they are working on a Dragon Age game in the Edmonton studio. What do you think about this game whether this multiplayer game is going to be a Mass Effect game or is it going to be a Dragon Age game? Let me know in the comments below. Last week I talked about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remaster being a thing basing on a number of rumors coming out in the internet but now it's very much possible that that remaster might be coming alongside with the new Modern Warfare game. That is the Modern Warfare game that you have been playing at the current moment. It was posted in Reddit that the Season 3 of Modern Warfare will have a lot of things included. Now right now there is an update coming out of Modern Warfare but that is a different update but Season 3 update is coming soon very much and that will include a hell lot more things which is taken from all the games of Call of Duty. For example Backlot which is a multiplayer map from Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare and Village which is a multiplayer map from Modern Warfare 3. 
We will also be having more operators such as Alex and Ronan, but those are along the multiplayer side. If you go towards the Battle Royale side, Warzone, then they will be having more new playlists. For example, having duos and quads as a playlist or playlists like Battle Royale High Action where the gas will be closing in very quickly and there will be much more playlists to just engage everybody with Call of Duty Warzone. Now another thing that was added as a bonus content was Modern Warfare 2 Campaign Remaster. Now it has been told that either you buy Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remaster to get Underwater Demo Team Classic Ghost Bundle or buy the Ghost Pack Oil Rig to get Modern Warfare 2 Remaster. And it looks like the Ghost Pack Oil Rig will be around 10,000 COD points which is a lot of coins. So it could be better if they have both the option for example either you can buy Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remaster or buy that Ghost Pack for around 10,000 god points which will give you Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remaster. Again one thing to note that it is called Campaign Remaster and there is no multiplayer in it but it seems like the multiplayer will be added to Call of Duty but it will be added to the new Call of Duty game in terms of different patches for example the updates that Call of Duty is receiving for its multiplayer. For example, they might be adding more new maps from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, maybe playlists or guns or playstyle from Modern Warfare 2 straight to the new Modern Warfare. For example, in Season 2, we got maps such as Rust, Vacant, Shipment, which are from old Call of Duty games. So maybe they're doing that to bring all the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer to this game. Now, it's very interesting to see how they're adding a remaster of a game to a new update to Modern Warfare as a new season. Now I'm not so sure if this is possible or if this is happening but it has been posted in reddit as so far. But before this Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remaster came around with Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. That is a new Call of Duty game and they bundled it with Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remaster. Now maybe this is good because putting Modern Warfare 2 Remaster will allow people to buy Call of Duty Modern Warfare or maybe just download Warzone and get the activity going on in that game. Already we are close to 35 million players in Warzone. And I have to say it is a really fun game. Now there's a game coming out this week and it's called Resident Evil 3 which is coming out on April 3rd which is very much awaited by Resident Evil fans including me and it's gonna be one hell of a ride. Now there's another game that they bundled with Resident Evil 3 for free called Resident Evil Resistance. Now this is a multiplayer game which is technically a 4 vs 1 matchup where 4 survivors will survive the rounds done by one person who is working behind the scene to spawn zombies and boss or traps or whatever to stop these survivors from basically surviving. Now most of the survivors in this game are common residents who are trying to survive the epidemic that is going across but in the future there will be an update which will add Jill Valentine herself as a survivor to the game. Now of course Jill Valentine is very much trained to survive in situations like these so maybe that will have a different edge on the gameplay as a survivor. But that is not the only thing that is being added to the game. For example all the zombies will be the same as from Resident Evil 3 including Mr. X who will be as a monster or zombie in the game. Now get ready to be punched very hard by Mr. X. Now the mastermind players who are sitting behind the desk to spawn these monsters or zombies to the survivors, they can play as Resident Evil Revelations 2 villain Alex Wesker and Umbrella Corporation co-founder Oswald Spencer. Now initially Resistance was very much hated because it didn't turn out the way people wanted it to be but maybe in the future it can change and people will probably have more fun with it. How many of you are excited for Resident Evil 3? Will you be playing that game when it comes out? Let me know in the comments below. Now there is one sad news that is coming up which revolves around Silent Hill game. Now back in January it was told by a very reliable source that a couple of Silent Hill games are in the work and also that Sony is taking some publishing rights or some properties from Konami themselves which includes Silent Hill as well and also Kojima will be working on those projects himself but it seems like that is not the case because Konami has told simply that all of those rumors are not true. Now it could be very possible that Konami is actually working on a new title but didn't say anyone about anything. But to be honest it is very less likely that Sony has purchased some of the properties from Konami themselves because if that was the case all the games that is coming from their side will be exclusive to PlayStation. For example Dead Stranding which was exclusive at some point but then turned into a PC game as well later on by Kojima himself. But it's very much possible because a game like Silent Hill 
will be exclusive. For example, Silent Hill PT, which was a game that was cancelled by Konami, came on as an exclusive to PlayStation 4. Now again, Konami cancelled the game of PT because they fired Kojima at that point. Now to be honest, that was a very stupid mistake that Konami did because if that game would have come out, it would have been very successful as a horror game. Now it looks like Kojima is not done with horror games because he wants to make more horror games. As he tweeted some time ago that in order to make a good horror game, he watches scary horror movies that he cannot continue to watch and he was watching one of those at the moment. So it could be very possible that Kojima is working on a horror game with Kojima Productions but it's not very sure whether he is actually working because no news has come across. Now if he wants to work on another Silent Hill type scary game, he might be taking Norman Reedus once again as his main protagonist. But it's pure speculation at this point whether Kojima is actually making a new game because at this point Kojima production must be working on the PC port of Death Stranding that is coming very very soon. Now talking about Sony exclusive games, a very strange thing happened and that was with God of War. It was brought up by a reddit user who found that God of War doesn't have only on PlayStation label in the official website. Games like Marvel, Spider-Man and Uncharted 4 do have only on PlayStation label on them. Now it could very well mean that God of War is actually coming to PC. Now this statement can be proven even more true because Horizon Zero Dawn which was recently found out is coming to Steam does not have only on PlayStation label mentioned in the official website. Now taking all of this into account, it will be the first time a studio like Santa Monica is bringing their own game to PC even though the game was initially Sony exclusive. Now Sony never said that they don't want to bring the exclusive games to PC, they actually have told a lot of times that they want to bring Sony exclusive games to PC but they haven't really announced that they will be bringing God of War to PC. Similar to Horizon Zero Dawn which was not really announced, rather it was slipped to the Steam store page so that people can find it out. What do you think about God of War and what are your thoughts about Sony exclusive games coming to PC? Would you like to try those games out? Let me know all of those in the comment below. Well that is all we had to cover on this episode of Top Gaming News. Thank you so much guys for watching this episode. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about any of the news just discussed and also make sure to hit the like button, click on subscribe because we have more content coming up very soon on this channel. Also join us on social media platforms to see everything that is happening around Gamer Connect and join Gamer Connect community on Facebook so that you can stay active with a numerous number of activity happening in the community itself and meet a lot of gamers. This was me Gaming Madness and make sure you stay safe, stay indoors and play a lot of games.